The grind never ends here in Cold War Zombies because I still have a ton of weapon mastery calling cards that we need to unlock. And last time after we finished our baseball bat, we got a little bit done for the Groza, but we didn't quite complete it. So today we'll be trying to get the weapon mastery calling card for the Groza. And to do that, we need about 600 more kills with it. And to do it, we'll be getting it done on Maur de Toten. I, I haven't played on this map in a while. Oh my God, what happened to Rambo's arms, dude? What the hell? This might be one of, if not the best map here in Cold War Zombies. And I'm excited to get back on it this is one of the more fun starting rooms to do a first room challenge on it's definitely insanely difficult but having a workbench here helps out so much and then just the tease of tombstone here not that i'd even use it but no power to it just having a perk machine sitting there while doing a first room challenge is it just teases you and i do this every time i'm on the map I have to shoot at this and see the bubbles come out i still have no idea why this is a thing why does this painting have bubbles there's got to be some sort of Easter egg here besides the bubbles. Actually, is there a puddle above it? How do I pin in this game? Okay, right there. Oh, there's a little bit of a puddle here. Do bubbles come out of this? No. Yeah, I got no idea why it does it. But it does it. And you might have noticed by me freaking out at his disfigured arms, but I'm playing as Rambo today. Normally, I play as Mason, but... Uh, I, I was reminded the other day of how good like Cold War bundles were. And I'm not a huge bundle guy, but Cold War had some really nice bundles. And every time I come in here, you know, I show you guys like the gestures of like the, the tea bag and everything and how like there's no gestures at all in like newer CODs. But when they added in like these licensed operators, they actually had like voice lines, not like fully recorded voice lines, but stuff cut from the movie. I think the only bundle that had like uniquely recorded voice lines is the ghost face bundle and i i still regret not buying that one but it, it's so weird the way they did it for like rambo and uh who's the dude from die hard i honestly don't remember something mccain or mclean if we take a quick listen thanks. he's got the nice thanks the hello or he just says sir, sir. Seen worse. and then for the good job he just goes i've seen worse i don't remember which one it was i don't think i have the gesture equipped but it, he would just be like no and it would be like really hard cut out no i just thought it was cool the the way they went through and did all this it seemed like there's a lot more effort in you know creativity put into some of these bundles than there is now i remember playing this map for the first time and like roaming around here in the starting area and just seeing all these zombies here floating it's just such a cool visual and like a, a fun way to turn on power like this is one of those maps that kind of brings the the ambiance back to zombies because Steam machine still had like an ambiance but it was still kind of like light-hearted but this map's like all at night time in like both parts of berlin you know you have the whole flashlight mechanic but i wish there was a way to keep this map dark after you turn on power like the whole underground area by the subway i wish there was a way to just keep it all dark and scary while still having like all the the benefits of having power on. I think I'll stay in this room until uh, the end of this round. Well, we should have enough money to go through and at least get close to power. And that's the round. That zombie went fucking flying. All right, let's zip line across. Also, the, the main line Easter egg for this map is so sick. I, I remember trying to solve it. I, I stayed up like the whole night before. Bad idea. And then the Easter egg didn't come out till like noon or something the next day. So I was up for, for like 20 something hours. And then trying to solve this with like Lego, I, I I think Philly, and it was either Sam or Silky. I don't remember. I was so sleep deprived, but it was so cool figuring out the step of like getting uh, Klaus, the, the the robot companion, to come up here, and you have to brain rot a zombie to break through this door. Hold on, zombies get away. I'm trying to tell a story. But he, you get a brain rotted zombie to break through this door and grab the hands there on that dude's neck, the the kinkiest man in zombies. A little Easter egg on this map is actually pretty fun. Oh, we have the box right here. You know what? Let's hit this. And whatever weapon I get is the weapon we'll do next. Okay, a chopper gunner. I don't know if I can do that. Maybe we try one more time. And then whatever we get is what we'll do in the next video. Assuming that I don't have it done. The AMPs I might have done. I have quite a lot of time used on the AMPs. Let's keep making our way towards power. Like, look at this the whole red staircase the ambiance on this map is crazy it's just this one flare that that gives like a whole tinge to this whole area before power's on and then coming out here to the ground floor and then that tempest comes in where you at tempest go ahead and spawn i dare you there it is what's up dickhead Ooh, that's what's up okay lay lay that fuse and it was also cool actually coming down in this area and seeing this 
this little phone booth here that was in the i think it was in the teaser for zombies for this game i think max just like places a call in this so when everyone saw that they're like oh is that is that the is that the same one man i, I really hope treyarch's next game can kind of recapture the the fun of this one just with uh some more maps on it it sucks that we only got like four of them for this whole game but there are some good maps i want more maps for the next game to be more in line with with maur I, I said that like i was australian this map's so sick all right i keep reminiscing we, we got to keep moving towards power don't get hit by the train oh shit this is so cool the first time i saw it too just a screaming flaming train go by as the zombies jump out at you this map did like everything right this is what i'm talking about how dark it is over here oh this map's so cool the power fake out too oh look we got power on psych gotta find fuses now i forgot where the other fuse is at maybe it's that big icon here that's that's one thing i could go without i think if they want to add in all this all these ui elements and all these hud elements oh shit it's a fucking panzer actually what am i scared of i got tesla storm come here let me teach you something panzer you gotta respect me way way oh give me that battery there's a lot of fucking zombies down here oh shit i'm already out of ammo come on get the hell out of my way zombies let me buy some thank you all right go ahead and spawn in fuck you tempest get out of here i'll be taking that and let's say goodbye to the darkness in here later darkness and this area of the map is so cool too oh shit what are you doing spawning right next to me you can't be doing that okay i didn't mean to hit that nuke but i guess i'll take it but it, it is a zombie sin to open this door because right here is one of the best grinding spots in the game they have all these zombie spawns here and it's probably like the fastest spot on the map to go for high rounds i could never get past like round 40 in here i'd always die but i remember trying to go for round 100 with with samuel the 17th and i don't know what was happening i think our connection was fucking up and then I just ended up teleporting into this zombie spawn here. Like, I was inside this room. I just got trapped in there. But that ha that happened while we were trying to do a round 100 attempt. I'm not going to say what happened on it. If you want to know, you should go watch it. It's actually a classic. I wonder if you'd be down to try this again. Now that uh, it's a little less buggy. My personal favorite grinding spot on this map was right up here. The Weenie Hut Jr. version of that spot. It was definitely way slower, but way safer. So I could just come up here. I would sit right here, pop my ring of fire. And then if anything happened, I rappel down. Oh, there's a bunny part here. You know what? I'm going to tell myself that I can't buy jug today. Unless I do the whole jug Easter egg. But the jug Easter egg on this map is actually like dangerous to do. There's a lot of elites that spawn. So let me get like every perk besides that. I wish I got pack a punch before uh, splurging on all these perks, but it's whatever. What's going on, boys? Just hanging around? Cool nice yeah me too like look at this whole cinematic here this is sick it's a shame that this map kind of got overshadowed by forsaken not saying Forsaken's a bad map at all but this map really only had like a month maybe two actually i don't even think it was that long but there, there was like a long wait in between firebase c and this map and then after this map came out forsaken came out right after so i feel like a lot of people forgot about it but it was a banger oh yeah we're gonna need pack a punch only headshots are killing these zombies now. Look at this. It takes like 14 body shots to kill one. The Groza is such a weak weapon. No wonder I didn't have the mastery on it. Let's go ahead and pack a punch it real quick. I probably shouldn't have came in here with a camo on my weapon. I wanted to see the Maurer pack a punch camos. All right, let's see if I can find all these uh, bunny parts. I don't think I've ever done this Easter egg on my own. I'll just be like playing with other people and they'll pick up the parts. I've only seen like a few of them on the ground. Let's take this out and listen to Krevchenko have a bitch fit about it. Yes, it is. Is there one in the butcher shop? This would be a cool place to have one. What about in the uh, electronic repair shop? Don't look like it. There's the actual jug machine. None in the bar. I feel like there has to be one in this alleyway, but where? Oh, accidentally repelled up. Fuck. You know what? I'm going to cut myself a deal. If I can find one more part, I'm going to Google the rest. I swear there was one over here. Oh, there it is. I found the head. Okay, I'm Googling the rest. Okay, one's in the sewer access. At least that's what it's telling me. Where? How do I get in the sewer again? Over here? Yeah. Uh, so this is going to be down here somewhere. I'm pretty sure they can spawn like in random spots too. Like there's multiple spots for the same parts. I love how there's just like an aether wall here stopping you from going further down. And it's just not really explained. It's like, yeah, there's just purple wall here. A whole train. Oh, the train just ended the round. Thanks, train. Oh, it's a tempest round. Not tempest. What are they called? Tormentors. That's it. 
I love these rounds. It's always so easy. But I feel like I've been lied to. I don't see no bunny arm anywhere. Oh, it's right here. I'm a fucking idiot. So we have its torso, its head, and one arm. I think we just might need one other arm. Unless it's toes or something we need to grab too. Let me uh, make sure that my armor is a little more filled up before I do this. There we go. What's going on in Panzer? Guess what? Tells a storm again, bitch. Should have learned your lesson. Yeah, you like that? Idiot. I just looked really quick at the, the Google thing again. Apparently, we do need legs too. So there's one. So we need one more leg and one more arm. Oh, there's one. We just need one more. I must have walked right past it earlier. It's supposed to be here on the bar. Oh yeah, right there. There we go. This is one of the cooler Easter eggs too. Look at all, look at this. Bunny DJ. All the zombies rocking out, but I don't have music on or something. This is kind of awkward without music. Oh shit. There we go. Get him, Shatter Blast. Sick him. Oh fuck, it's a mangler. But this has got to be one of the cooler bunny Easter eggs. Like the one on, on D Machina, you know, it's cool and all, and you can get like a, a free weapon. But this one, they, they set up a whole fucking bunny club. Like, this is sick. Look at the bunny just jamming out. Brings in more club members, and then they all go stupid. Go stupid, go crazy. Go stupid, go crazy. Oh fuck, it's a mimic. See my dick, mimic. We're actually kind of cleaning this. Maybe it's like at high rounds where it really gets difficult. Or maybe the last wave is the worst one. But they spawn in all the zombies doing the dances. It would have been cool to see them like put in like a Megaton or something doing a dance. Or like any elite. You know, let's stun them all real quick. Get some nice points off that. Actually, I don't think I'm getting any points from zombies in here. You get zero points from these zombies. You still get kills from them though, right? Oh yeah, okay. Looks like we still get kills, but just not points. Oh, they gave us some max ammo. Is that it? Does that mean we're done? Looks like it. Later, bunny. And now we need to pick our prize. Door number one, two, or three. Eeny, meeny, miny, moe, catch tiger bite. This one. Ooh, is this the gold chest? It is not. And we got fucking mule kick? You gotta be kidding me. At least it's a perk I didn't have. Well, I was doing this whole thing for Jug and then he didn't even give it to me. This is ass. Well, looks like we have to buy it. Come here, Jug. I'll be taking that. This back here used to be a crazy good grind spot too. Before, like, it, for whatever reason, zombies wouldn't even spawn right there. I think the only thing that would spawn would be like the occasional panzer all the way back there. I used to be able to just set up here with toxic growth. I tried to get like a whole team of people just putting nothing but toxic growth here and just seeing how high of a round we could get to. I, I miss the, the early days of Cold War zombies. I'm trying to figure out like good grind spots, like just glitch spots, anything. I just can't wait for tracks next game. I feel like we're getting close to getting this thing done. I think we only need 600 kills. We're at 580 right now. Granted, I think, uh, you know, Tesla Storm has gotten a few kills. Same with like Shatter Blast and Brain Rot, but it can't be like over 100 kills, right? Well, what other perks am I missing out on? Oh, we don't got PhD. Zoomstone, you can stay out. I guess we'll try out the old spot for a bit since we're already up here. This spot's so good, especially with Shatter Blast. This would be my favorite thing to do is get a melee weapon and for the Jackrabbit medals. Make sure I had Shatter Blast on it. Train up the zombies down there. Have them all follow me up in a line climbing up this wall. And you just have to hit one of them and it'll kill them all. So busted. Only problem with that is they don't drop anything while they're climbing. So you can't get any ammo from them. No uh, scrap or shrapnel. What the hell is it called? Salvage. Still a fun spot though. Oh, and the pack a bunch name on the on this Rosa is Tugarian. Tugarian on my meat. That was such a low bar joke. That's how we do it around here, baby. Oh, there we go. There's our sharpshooter badge. That means we got a mastery on it. And I guess we'll just go until our uh, next exfil. It should be the next round. Actually, if we're gonna exfil, I want to grab a death machine because I'm pretty sure like they added in one of uh. Rambo's voice lines just for using the death machine. So let me just waste my chopper gunner real quick. I'll use this to end the round, I guess. If there's even any zombies to shoot. This is also crazy that this is even in zombies. You actually get to go on a chopper gunner. Right, let's go ahead and grab our death machine. <laughs> That's what it was. He just yells. Oh, what an easy round to end on. I don't remember where the Exfil phone was at, though. Oh, it might be down in power. Let me make my way there before I uh, you know, get lost trying to get to it, and then it disappears. Also, this wall being breakable by the Wonder Weapon was crazy, too. Just have Klaus come up and punch it, and then you just kind of laser your way through. So sick. We even go see Klaus today. Hold on. 
Let's go say hello. And I'm going to break the cardinal sin of zombies on this map. I'm opening the door. Where's that little rascal at? What's going on, Klaus? There's your battery. But we'll see you later, Klaus. We got to exfil the catch. How the hell do I get out of here? We'll go this way. I can't believe Kravchenko would even pick us up. Like, that's the one part about this that I don't really understand is like... He like came and kidnapped us, right? Like he took us. But why is he actually like exfilling us out of here without... You know, getting what he wants. Like, he always says, like, thank you for not disappointing me or something whenever, like, the expo comes and goes. Why would he even pick us up? Why wouldn't he just let us die? I feel that, Rambo. That machine's so sick. He's just constantly screaming while using it. And it's gone. And I think that's it. Let's grab this loose change and let's get out. Thanks for the ride, Kroshenko. Also, expo, cool feature, I'll say it. Sometimes I don't just want to die. I just want to go ahead and leave. And we had 779 kills, 498 crits. No revives, no downs. So that's just how we do it. And there is our calling card. Something that I'm never going to use. Let's take a better look at it. Eh? I mean, we got it and we still have a lot to go. Do we have our AMPs here though? Let me see. Yeah, I think we got them done. I don't see them here. Well, next time I get to choose. But we got another weapon mastery down. It's actually a lot of fun coming back here to Cold War and, you know, not having to do any like camo challenges. We just get to use different weapons and try to get masteries on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit here. Truly appreciate all your guys' love and support and I will see you in the next one. Later.